is that time. Van is fully stocked, locked and loaded, and I'm an excited boy. Living in a freaking van! Living in a freaking van! I forgot I left these on the ground out here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I need a better spot for these. I mean, I guess there is no better spot. I don't really open this door very often. And here we go. All right, let's see if this battery works. Oh, like a charm. We got five hours. My mom's so cute over there. <laughs> Saying goodbye on the porch. This already feels good. Like it just <laughs> I've been down I'm, I'm down the street and it feels good. So I just I miss being in the van. I do. I miss it so much. Hey look! A bridge! Is that the Mackinac Bridge? Huh. I've done no research at all about taking the ferry. I did a little bit of research, but I have no idea where I'm going. I have no idea. I know it's like 30 bucks. Now Mackinac City's kind of got it going on as well. It's a cute little area here, a lot of hotels, but here we go. Mackinac Island Ferry Company. Yes, this is it. All right, we're adventuring. I'm so happy right now. Got a ticket for a boat. That is ginormous. How are you, sir? What is with these bugs? Oh yeah, show her the bugs. Goodness. They're bad. That's craziness. They go up your nose and in your mouth well, that's when good to you're know. trying to tell people what to do on the island. I like the noise your gate makes, that's cool. Yep. Fairy Godmother says yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank God, these bugs are crazy right up my nose. Look at these. Just everywhere. Is this a seasonal thing or do I stink? Is it me? Ugh. After eating about 67,000 bugs, I don't think I'm hungry anymore. Look at this. This is nuts. Look at this awesome, awesome little main street. Kind of reminds me of uh, Eureka Springs a lot. This is absolutely, <laughs> there's a Starbucks, of course. This is absolutely beautiful. A lot of fudge shops. Joanne's Fudge, Sanders Fudge, uh, Ruby's Fudge, Ariba's Fudge, and the big fudge places uh, down that way, Murdoch's. And here's some fudge for you. Anybody want some fudge? So many places to eat. Oh, thank you. Like, dare I say, too many. Should we start off this trip by indulging in my first sugar extravaganza in about six months? I think so. All right, see you later. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna start off with just a sample, which are really big samples. 
Like a whole chunk of fudge. Are you sure? You're going to have to share with your brother. You're going to eat on the bus the whole way home. Fun of a bitch. <laughs> I need to run. Oh my god. He'll never happen. This is so neat. Totally smells like horse shit. Like, that's just part of it. Very, very unpopulated today, too, and that makes me extremely, extremely happy. Oh, look, a fudge shop. So if you're a bicycle enthusiast, you're a horse enthusiast, a fudge enthusiast, a uh, drinker, I guess. I uh, haven't eaten the food yet, but there's a lot of places to eat. Or if you just like riding ferry boats around, or if you love the fact that there's no cars. Can't really beat M Mackinac Island, man. I mean, it's uh, you like a fudge shop. There's only about 2,000 people that actually live here. I think I'm in a residential district passing through at the moment. I'm sure they all own and run shops. I'm going like straight uphill right now. That is the Grand Hotel on Mackinac Island. That is my uh, destination. I will not be staying there because it is almost like a thousand a night, which is a little ridiculous. We're just borrowing a room. Borrowing a room. I always had trouble saying borrowing. A room for the night. That's crazy. It's like, really? Does that come with like a hand job and breakfast or something? Because at that point I could see it. But if I'm just borrowing a room with, with no hand job and no breakfast, I think that's a little out of my range. I wonder why they call it the Grand Hotel. Maybe because it is a Grand Hotel? That thing is freaking enormous. And I think it's like $10 to just be able to walk around in here. Cool, whatever. I don't mind that at all. Very, very warm in here, but really, I mean, come on, this place is great. It's grand, it's a very grand hotel. You could probably spend an hour just looking to see all the pictures. Jimmy Durante. Oh. There we go. Big time player. These stairs are like pillows. <laughs> I, would, I would actually like to fall down these stairs. This would be fun. There's a dog. Oh, how cool. Here is the Grand Hotel dining room buffet. $77 for this buffet. Goodness. Excuse me. This is cool though. 77 bucks for some finger food. I think I'm in. Would you pay 77 bucks for that? A little pork loin. Seafood. I like the way it's laid out. Oh goodness. I just put my mouth under it, you know? Like, that's awesome. I feel like I'm at Golden Corral, but instead of 15 bucks, you're looking at uh, $77. Should we do it? doesn't look $77 worth of good. I could make any of this stuff better. The fish actually smells terrible. But, uh, yeah. A bunch of uh, wealthy, old, white people. <laughs> That's about it. I like this. Look at that. When you want to sit next to somebody but you don't want to talk to them, you might want to know why I do all these things alone. I just heard a couple back there arguing about, <laughs> the husband's like, God, you're just taking so long to do anything. I never have to worry about that stuff. 
nope, I go at my pace, which is a pretty, pretty quick pace. I walk fast, I do things fast, I get sick of things fast, and I move on. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. Wow. I am so glad I made the decision to come here. Not just to the Grand Hotel, but the uh, this whole thing, man. It's just beautiful. I needed it so bad. Get out and walk in the sunshine and break a sweat, eat some crappy food. Oh my God, this is awesome. Quick Grand Hotel hack. I don't like using the word hack, but it's what it is. If you uh, walk to under that sign right there, that flag, there's doors right there. You don't have to pay the $10 to go for a tour inside. It's a uh, wasted money, wasted money. Now, if there was filet mignon everywhere and you know, just some pan fried salmons and you know, a bunch of fancy foods, I'd be all over that $77, but I didn't see anything except for a couple little finger foods and desserts that I even wanted, which makes me sad. Apparently, if you're a golf enthusiast, it's also a great place. This Mackinac Island, this big old island in Michigan. Be break time. These dudes are out of it. Okay, I'm gonna cross the plains and hopefully don't get hit by golf balls. I don't see anybody. Oh, there's a couple people playing. My next destination is that little white thing on the hill right there. That is Fort Mackinac. I think that's what they call it. And I think I can just cut across this golf course. I think. God, that's up on a hill, isn't it? That's like on a very big hill. Oh. Okay, so after getting lost on the golf course, I had to hop through a fence to get onto this trail. Which, if you've noticed, is straight uphill. And those people behind me are smoking, which is making me gag. I gotta take this hoodie off. Ooh, man, this is the best buy. The smartest thing I've ever done. Oh my God. There's, that is the steepest hill. It even says it right, dangerous hill. Holy shit. And it's, it's not over yet. Holy crap, I gotta get this hoodie off. Jeez. Oh, please tell me I don't have to go that way. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, man. I feel like I'm in the army again. Here's your thumbnail right here. Oh, crap. Cemetery Road. Look at this ominous little bench right here. Sorry, I'm breathing so heavy. <laughs> you would be too. I don't care how in shape you are. Holy crap. Oh, that made all the difference. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel good now. Got a Van Life is Better shirt on which you can get at the Human Shirt Company, which is in the links, in my link tree, in the description. Ah, this is awesome through here. I don't know why I'm in such a hurry either. I have literally two days if I wanna hang out here for two days. I have no idea where I'm at. I don't know where the fort's at from here. Am I near it? Okay, who knows? And would you look at this? I come around a tree and there it is. Not only did I find the fort, but I found the ticket booth. Easy.
this history stuff. Oh, I don't like stairs at the moment though. Cool. So for an extra $16.95, you can come on the fort. You can come on the fort. You can probably come in the fort. This is fun. Bugs. Of course, people have to look at me. I was here, me. I don't know. I guess if enough people do it, it's okay then, right? This is the perfect opportunity for a wonderful jump scare, but they're not doing it. Did somebody sit up and go, oh, perfect. It's very much the same. There's actually a little tea room up here. I might have a, a spot of tea. Sounds actually really good. Going for it. I certainly hope so. It'd be weird if you didn't have tea, right? <laughs> yeah. Tea room without a tea. Wait a minute. Michigan cherry chicken salad sandwich on brioche. That sounds effing unbelievable. It's whatever. Yes. Tea. From the tea house. Yeah, that one. The regular one. Not bad tea. It's good tea. Okay, Michigan cherry chicken sandwich. <laughs> sandwich is not very good. <laughs> Not for $16. Mm. Okay, word to the wise. If you're thirsty, grab a tea. It's okay. But that sandwich was just god-awful. It was the worst sandwich I've ever had in my entire sandwich-eating life. Imagine if you were stationed here in the summer, fall, spring, it's a pretty sweet gig. Winter? Hmm, not so much. Oh, I gotta get the stash. There we go. Sweet stash. Man. You're not like one of the British guards, or if I mess with you. you... Oh, no. Okay. You're supposed to mess with me. Oh, perfect, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Balls. Sweet gig if you can get it. Dress crazy and shoot a cannon. Forward again down the barrel, just like he did with the worm. That moisture, as well as that vacuum that we're creating, is going to ensure that any remaining flames inside. All right, and now that we're ready here, there are only two commands left. That's going to be ready! Fire! The B is fine! Ooh, that was cool. Um, I did not mention that I'm wearing brand new shoes. This is only the first or second time I've ever worn these shoes, which is a terrible idea, man. Just a terrible terrible idea when you're walking about 10 miles maybe more by the end of this day Ugh. it's a block house it's mighty mighty letting you shoot right out oh it's a block house and this guy just strolling down the road you coming at me, bro? Don't come at me, bro. 
I just had a sandwich. I would have given it to you. I'm not bothering you. You're in. You're going where you are. Where I'm going. Don't give me no attitude. We are going to Arch Rock. Half a mile. Holy crap. Skull Cave? What is Skull Cave? This is great. It's kind of ruined by the tennis court over there, but I'll forgive it. I'll just film this way. <laughs> Gotta work off that sandwich. So I highly, highly recommend if I had a couple, I posted some pictures and everyone's like, that's my dream place. I want to be here. It's on my bucket list. Highly recommend the early months, like May. Let's just say May. And maybe the last month, everything's open, whatever that is in, in the fall. Please come during this time. This is <laughs> freaking amazing. It's not populated. It's expensive, but that's any tourist trap, which this is a tourist trap. Don't think for a second that it's not. Uh, but this isn't. It's being out here in the woods, man. Just going for a freaking walk. Oh, I can't tell you how much I love this. There is no shortage of horse shit. We have reached our truck. And look at that, as advertised. See, it's a rock and it's uh, and it's an arch. Perfect. Oh yay, I see a bunch of stairs over here. <sighs> Nicolette's Watchtower. I don't know what we're watching for, but good Lord. I'm actually okay. It's not as bad as you, I'm making it out to be. It's more entertaining if I'm suffering for you. Oh, where are they going? Whew. Oh, there's a rock. It's the rock. I don't know what the significance. There's no signs or anything, but. Oh, nice. I like where they're at because it's shaded and there's no bugs. Today was the day that someone gave out. We're in the wrong spot. This feels like hiking in Colorado, and I love that. Whew. Brand new shoes, not anymore. Look at this, it's all shit. It's the shittiest road in Michigan. Oh, that stinks, like shit. This is incredible. It just doesn't, end. it doesn't end, it doesn't end. Whew. I just came up, I just came up with an amazing invention, horse diapers. You just, it's like a big cloth. It's like a lawnmower bag, you know, where you put the bag connected to your lawnmower so you don't have to rake anything. You just put a big bag on the horse's dumper, right? And none of this ever hits the ground. It just goes into a big bag. And uh, you know, when they stop at one of the attractions on the tour horses, they just remove the bag and they stick another one on there. Now, I don't want to be the guy putting the bag on the horse's ass. Probably going to get kicked in the net. But it's uh, I think it's a brilliant invention. Okay, there's a guy who said there's a little... Back there, who said, as soon as I see the house, there's a little road. But is it this road or that road? I don't know. I'll go down this one. Hmm. But yeah, horse diapers. I will make a million dollars a year just on Mackinac Island. Look at these horses. They want some horse diapers. We have made it back to Main Street. Awesome. A lot of mattresses just sitting around this, this whole city. Oh my goodness. Shut up. These houses are awesome. I'm sure they're all not houses or Airbnbs and rentals and 
This is the island house, apparently. Gorgeous. Just scoop that right into my face, that's fine. My goodness. Do your eyes ever hurt from all the pink in here? Oh, well you're in the right spot. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yep. Oh, right here. Where is it? Oh, Lord. Just ridiculous. See, unless you just want to take some home with you. I don't see the purpose of buying a whole thing when you can just take samples of like four different flavors or more. And you've basically eaten a whole half pound of fudge. What is a haunted theater? Sounds like something I'd be interested in. Get spooked, it's fun. Okay. Oh, cool. Hey, there's a dog back there. Ha ha ha, Perfect, thank you. No flashlights. Oh, someone's gonna jump out right here. <laughs> scary oh there it is oh yes poor lady I love it cool that's awesome wow that's awesome you see in this hell scream this looks great it's Mothman perfect Mothman I love Mothman it's gonna rattle there it goes oh no it's opening She's gonna get me. Ah! Here she goes with the lighting. Here she is. You have, I think, at least one actor in here. Because he told me to go a certain way and he snorted at me. All right, well worth the nine bucks. I mean that, it was cool. Thank you, brother. <laughs> it's fun. Whew, gotta get adjusted to the sun again. Ah. Oh, it's a bar. I don't want to go to a bar. What do we have for dinner? <laughs> okay, maybe. Oh, yeah. Let's get fat. Okay. I don't even know what this is. It's supposed to be some kind of fondue. Homemade chips are fantastic. Wait a minute. Like a blue cheese. Wow, that's good. It's like really, really good. Yes, yep, I got this Carbs. Pimento mac and cheese. And what the hell is that? My goodness. I'm afraid of this. Don't eat the toothpick. Okay, I added the blue cheese fondue in with the mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. Freaking genius. I am, I am a genius. I mean, come on. Wow. Mm. Super spicy, super juicy, super crispy. That is, that is a fantastic sandwich. And these dudes over here are talking about chicks they want to score with. And I don't think any of them could score with any chicks. It's quite funny. Carnage. <laughs> these guys are the biggest douchebags I think I've ever heard have a conversation. Like the worst douchebags. I'm calling these guys pigs. It's pretty sad. I think I'm done with Mackinac Island. I've only been here for about three and a half hours, but I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover. I definitely got my steps in. 
seven miles back and forth, and I'm not done walking yet. So, Maya just passed seven miles. <laughs> That's a lot of miles, isn't it? But then again, I got to ask myself: Do I want to? Uh, do I want to just go sit in the van for the rest of the day? So, I don't think I do. So, bye bye, Mackinac Island. This was fun. This was needed. Big time needed. Screaming children, on the other hand, not needed. Yay. Hello, darling Van. I've missed you. Sorry about the mayflies. At Starbucks, my goodness, it's a little, a little ridiculous. I think maybe I don't know. It's kind of cool. So, do I drive down to Frankenmuth? It is 5:30 in the afternoon. Everything up here is closed. I can go back and park at the place. I have this, which is good till tomorrow. But the whole spot's covered with mayflies, and it's just kind of awful. I think I'm gonna take my ass, my van, and all my stuff down to Frankenmuth tonight and stay the night. Wake up. The Frankenmuth day, move. Frankenmuth day, and then um, be home by like tomorrow afternoon. I think that's uh, home to my mom's house, which has basically been home tomorrow afternoon. I think that's a good plan. Wait a minute, what is that? That is a giant inflatable hot dog on top of that building. Wienerlicious, are you kidding me? Oh, crap. We all know I'm going to Wienerlicious. I mean, how, how can I not? Perfect. So he told me this giant wiener is actually foam rubber. It looked inflatable to me, but uh, I put the drone up. I brought it with me. <laughs> it screwed up my order, but that's fine. They gave me a little wiener instead of the big giant wieners, which would have been good for the camera, but I don't care. I don't need to be eating that crap. <sighs> oh, my Rock and Roll Hall of Fame sticker. Gonna have to order these all online again if I can even remember what I had. I don't know why I stopped here. I just saw a giant wiener. It's called Wiener Licious. Mm. It's very, very good. Onions are getting everywhere. Damn it. <laughs> Five minutes from uh, ten minutes from Frankenmuth, but looky what I found over here! Oh, Hotel Cracker Barrel! I have missed you. Hell, oh man, there's a couple vans around back, so that's good. It means I won't be alone, and it means that we can park here, right? Right. This is awesome. Wow, these are great spots back here, too. Country music. Derp. Nothing makes me feel like I'm back in the van life mode more than walking through a Cracker Barrel gift shop waiting for food. That sexy little van over there. Let's have lunch in that sexy van. Thank you, Cracker Barrel for letting us stay overnight. Oh, I'm gonna crash so hard. I will see you next Monday, but next Monday will be tomorrow morning. We'll spend a little time in Frankenmuth and then uh, do what else we, whatever, whatever else we feel like doing. And that's it. And I'll block out these windows and Crawl into my van bed for the first time in a long time. 
Oh my God, I'm so tired. I'm so freaking tired. <laughs> I can't even tell you. I can't tell you even though I'm telling you, I can't. Oh, I gotta hook up fans and all kinds of stuff. There's a whole process I haven't done in a long time. No bugs here. Awesome. Oh, I still gotta do the, oh, I still gotta do the Tuesday Tubi movie night thing, man. Crap. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna be able to sleep. This sucks. All right, well, I'm going to end this video because I'm tired of filming myself at this point. Hit the link tree in the description. That's all the stuff, the shirts, the TV shows, the movies, the, the coloring books, the real books, the everything. Thank you for watching this Mackinac Island trip and all that came with it. Thankful to be out adventuring. I really, really am. Trust me. I'm just really, really tired. <laughs> Okay, good night. See you next Monday.